Hey, what's up, guys? It's Luba here. Welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you guys for joining me once again. Today, I'm going to be talking about why I hate the new aim assist that Call of Duty has. And we're going to be comparing it to the old aim assist and how other games do aim assist nowadays. And why I personally dislike aim assist in Call of Duty. But before we get into any of that, if you guys haven't yet and or if you're new, drop a like, subscribe, and comment down your opinion on aim assist from a keyboard and mouse player or from a controller player's perspective. But yeah, let's get right into it. So first off, I personally feel like Call of Duty's aim assist has too many options and settings to get the best aim assist. If I was a Call of Duty developer, I would try to find the aim assist setting out of what? The six or five options we have from like what? Dynamic, linear, standard, and then standard Call of Duty. So like what? Eight settings that you have to combine, right? And I would just try to find the best setting between all eight of those combinations that you can make. Because I'm not going to lie, for a lot of just normal casual players everything default for aim assist is very bad you want to have it on dynamic default and or dynamic black ops but a lot of people just have random aim assist settings and and honestly i think it's just not really fun to have one player have the wrong settings and lose a gunfight because they have the wrong settings when the other player has the best aim assist settings and always win gunfights if i was a call of duty developer once again once again if i was a call of duty developer i would see which combination of aim assist options give me the best and strongest aim assist right because back in the old call of duty days there was no aim assist options at all right and even now in modern gaming there's like one or two aim assist options right and each option is very different from each other like for a fortnite example there's linear and expo expo is kind of more slowed down linear is kind of more fast and like you have more freedom and for call of duty they have multiple options that you get to pick from from two different settings and if you mix and match them one could be stronger than the other one could be less stronger than the other and there's different benefits and negatives with choosing a specific setting for those aim assist options and if you don't understand what i'm talking about there's literally aim assist options or like the aim and response curve type which is like linear standard and dynamic and the actual aim assist type which is default two others and black ops and it just makes it super hard and it just makes everyone's choice of aim assist a lot harder i just wish there was either one or two that everyone could choose between from because back then it was never like that and i don't know why we need to add multiple settings to make it harder for control players to find that perfect aim assist settings for them it should honestly be the strongest with little to no negatives but also be completely different because if Fortnite is able to do that with two aim assist settings, basically with linear and expo, the Call of Duty should be able to do that with two different aim assists that's really strong or allows more freedom, what's really fast with different benefits and negatives. Another reason why I kind of hate how aim assist is now in Call of Duty is how strong it is on some weapons. Like every weapon should have the same amount of aim assist other than sniper rifles and or some marksman rifles that act like sniper rifles. For example, the CAR 98K. Like I'm not gonna lie, there's a huge part of why I didn't really snipe in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 2022 and now Modern Warfare 3 2023. It was because the aim assist was so strong that I would not have the freedom to actually aim where I wanna aim at, if that makes sense. In some points where I'm quick scoping and I'm sniping around, the aim assist gets so strong that I literally can't really turn and or look at someone else after shooting them. And it and I just I'm just too slow, right? That's another example of why aim assist is too strong and why I hate it. And another example of when I hate aim assist and when it's way too strong is when I'm playing Warzone and there's at least more than two people on my screen that I'm fighting and i just can't quickly switch between one of the opponents back to back if that makes sense when they're either too close or they're too far away and it's just awful man i'm telling you guys right now if you actually watch how you play and how your games go when you're fighting some people you're going to realize some instances where aim assist was too strong to the point where it caused you to miss shots caused you to be too slow to aim at the wrong person it costs you a fight another way aim assist is too strong is when i'm just trying to aim in and like scout the area and i actually see somebody and i don't want them to see me because it will reveal my position and because the aim assist is so strong it'll literally just drag it drag my scope to that person and that person sees me and they start fighting me right that's another instance of aim assist being too strong i personally feel like that aim assist should be one or two setting thing that people could pick from like linear or expo right we don't have to pick dynamic and like standard right and or linear and black ops there's just too many options for aim assist that make it so difficult 
to actually optimize and actually benefit for the players for the majority of players and then it's just too strong in some instances man like if you guys are an og call of duty player like from black ops 2 modern warfare 3 and all that stuff there was a debate forever in the sniping community about if snipers should have aim assist or not in the controller settings option and there was multiple debates about it being good for snipers for hitting clips and all that stuff and there was multiple debates for that it's bad for snipers for hitting clips and trick shotting recently we experienced that once again for a marksman rifle for, with the car 98k it got a nerf a couple weeks now it's, it's nerfed to the ground now but the first big nerf of the car 98k was its aim assist but it actually made it better because it allowed more freedom to everyone using it to where they put their scope, where they look at, how they shoot. And people are now realizing how strong aim assist is in Call of Duty. And that's why I'm making this video because there's so many people talking about if aim assist is way too strong for controller players, where it negatively affects them, or if it's strong enough to actually positively affect them. Personally, I think aim assist has its moments where it's really good, but for me personally, the way I play and how I am as a player, it just debuffs and negatively affects me a lot more than it actually helps me out. I truly believe that if Call of Duty's aim assist settings was just one or two or three options to pick from, three different aim assist types and settings, rather than having eight or nine settings to choose from and combine with, I, I feel like it would make it a lot easier to make choices for the casual player because they could just try out three types of aim assist in three games and see which one they play better with and actually like and they can have better settings for themselves and then i also think that aim assist has to be less strong at certain points when aiming from afar with snipers and marksman rifles and when there's two enemies close and or far away from each other that are with each other because in all those scenarios aim assist is either too strong to the point where you miss shots get dragged by aim assist so you miss and a bunch of other stuff i truly believe if they made these changes to call of duty for aim assist it would be a lot better but remember i'm not saying that i don't need aim assist i'm saying that aim assist needs to be toned down to a certain degree and be way easier and simpler for the casual player to understand like i'm not gonna lie 99.9 percent .9 of the players do not read the helpful tips that actually tell us what aim assist type we're picking or what a response curve type we're actually picking at all we are literally just trying to look for the best aim assist curve type and aim assist type very quickly and with the multiple options and combinations you could have with the a response curve type and aim assist type it's just way too much for the casual player to understand and actually want to change but hopefully call of duty can make these changes because a lot of the casual fan base is doing worse because of the multiple aim assist settings and how strong aim assist is in certain situations but if you guys enjoyed and agreed with me or disagreed with me let me know in the comments and also drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new and i'll see you guys next time peace